Okay guys, so check this out. This is the cylinder head gasket. Wanted to show you really quick, they call it a gasket kit. That is the part number. Now it is a kit, but it's not a full kit as far as what you are probably gonna be used to on some of the older trucks. So this is gonna have a cylinder head gasket. It's gonna have your O-rings and stuff like that for your injectors, all six of them. Let me uh, get everything out. Okay guys, so this is our cylinder head gasket. Okay, as you can see, that's it. That's the head gasket. Now, one thing that it does come with, as I mentioned, is going to be this sub kit, which is gonna have the cam housing seal or the cam housing gasket. Uh, it'll have a few little other accessories, but just to give you an idea of what, what it comes with. Again, it's not complete. You don't get your intake and exhaust uh, gaskets. You don't get your water manifold or coolant manifold gasket. So again, just wanna show you that. We're gonna go ahead and get everything set up and uh, get ready to get the cylinder head installed. Okay guys, so check this out. Like I said, we put the engine to time. This one we have, we're TDC one or TDC six. Really it's the same thing. If you look at it, there's number one and there's number six. And at this point we're ready to receive the cylinder head. Everything is timed and really you're gonna be on TDC one. You're gonna do your adjustments, whatever you're gonna do at that point. But again, this is what I like to do is leave it at TDC one, okay? So again, TDC one, TDC six, really the exact same thing. The only difference is now how you're gonna put your uh, cams, your dual overhead cams. And again, you're gonna start on the first rotation when you do your valve adjustment. But anyway, just wanna show you where we leave things and this way we're ready to go. When we put the cylinder head on, obviously we're gonna put our new cylinder head gasket. One thing I wanna show you is this gear, okay? When you put your cylinder head on, there's the gear. And here is the gear that's actually gonna do the turning on your cylinder head. So just to give you an idea of what's going on, that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna go down underneath and show you guys what that looks like when you have your timing pin in. And I, show, I showed you that before in the other videos, but I just wanna give you guys a little uh, view of what, what it looks like. Okay guys, so here is a little back view of the flywheel. Obviously the transmission is not in. When you have your timing pin, which is right here. This is why for me, it's really important. Some guys kind of laugh and like, oh, you don't need a timing pin. Hey, to each their own. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. When your timing pin is installed correctly, you can see there, it's gonna automatically sit or it's going to seat right there, okay? And then underneath the flywheel or the flywheel housing, I showed you guys before, but I'm gonna show you again. There's that little point right there and then there's the point on the flywheel. So when these two things line up, okay, the white point and the point on the flywheel housing, you're gonna be able to put your timing pin in. And again, that guarantees that you're gonna be TDC one, TDC six. So if you look underneath the engine, I showed you guys the top view, here's the bottom view. See number six all the way up. And then number one, same thing, that's gonna be all the way up. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna get this thing ready to install as far as the cylinder head goes, and let's get this engine on the road. So that concludes this part of the video. Let's move on to the next. Okay guys, so you can see there's your head gasket. It literally goes right over the top of the engine block. You have two guides, two dowels, one in the front, one in the back. That's pretty much it. You don't need to spray anything. You don't need to do anything else. Uh, your scrapers literally line up right on the inside of the liner. So that's pretty much that. Um, let's get everything ready to go. Okay guys, so check this out. We have our cylinder head assembled. I like to assemble everything before I install it. Try to get as many accessories as I can. Now this is the little contraption that we use. Kind of a bit of a Frankenstein, but it works well for us. Uh, every shop kind of has their own way of doing it. You can buy the original tool. Uh, it's pretty expensive, so that's kind of why we went ahead and did our own. So again, cylinder head is pretty much ready to go. It's about 90 something percent. I mean, you still have your EGR cooler on the side. It's got to get mounted. Uh, but for the most part, it's ready to go. Okay, this little gear back here, it's an idle gear. So there is no timing associated with that. Again, this is what's going to control your intake and exhaust. Okay, so again, everything is ready to go. It's, it's pretty much set on my part. So I'm going to try to record this as best as possible. See, there's our intake. These are where your fuel lines are gonna go. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much that. Let's get everything ready. I'm gonna try to record as much as I can to show you the installation. I'm gonna show you definitely how to torque your cylinder head and you are gonna need all brand new head bolts. So let's get this going.